Well, we know 2020 was a really tough year for many companies, but that's really not been the case for Raspberry Pi. Owen Hughes uh, here with Tech Republic here to talk to me a little bit further about what they've been up to. Yeah, I mean, what a year it's been for Raspberry Pi. You kind of, considering the fact that 2020 brought pretty much everything else to a halt, shut down kind of supply chain, seriously impacted uh, production lines, and they still managed to come out with five new devices. And that was, well, some of those are brand new devices. So we had the uh, the Pi 400 and the Pico, which uh, released earlier uh, this year. And then obviously we had some follow-ups to some uh, kind of previous products, for example, the high quality camera, uh, the compute module four, and then of course the eight gigabyte um, Raspberry Pi four. And, you know, this is coming at a time where um, everybody was shifting to remote working, remote learning. Uh, people were scrambling to find uh, affordable devices for, for families. Um, so, you know, parents could work at home while the kids were learning at home. And Raspberry Pi really found themselves in, in a, a kind of a good position. And when you consider the fact that Raspberry Pi is also every device they make kind of becomes uh, more and more premium. And, you know, the, the Raspberry Pi 4 8 gigabyte is one step closer to essentially replacing a, a desktop PC. So this is going to be real big business for, for Raspberry Pi over the kind of coming months as more people switch to remote working. And I think that's that was reflected in their in their 2020 figures. They, they shipped 7.1 million devices throughout the course of 2020. And, you know, I think it's got to be one of their best years, if not their best years on record. All right, now, Owen, uh, what can we expect in 2021? What's on the horizon? Yeah, so as for what's coming this year, um, we probably shouldn't expect too much in the way of hardware. So, um, you know, a lot of what Raspberry Pi had in the pipeline uh, prior to COVID-19 has, has now been kind of launched. Um, but that's not to say they're not working on stuff. Um, it's just just more along the lines of we shouldn't expect a Raspberry Pi 5 in 2021, but they are, will be doing a lot of work on software. So obviously, um, again, remote working, remote learning um, has put a huge emphasis on, on cloud and software. Um, that's an area that it seems like they're going to focus on this year. So they've, they've got the uh, migration to Debian 11, uh, which they're aiming for um, kind of mid-2021. Uh, they're also working on uh, bringing the, the latest features that are available in Chromium. So you've got, you know, um, bleeding edge kind of video conferencing solutions, which of course is going to be very important for people who want to use uh, the Raspberry Pi to learn at home or work at home. So yeah, it's going to be another busy year probably possibly not so much in the way of hardware but certainly in software they've kind of got a lot of work for, to do and um, I guess we're just going to have to see what the rest of the year brings. All right Owen thank you so much for all things Raspberry Pi. We've got you covered on Tech Republic. Thanks for watching.